Hi, this is Gretchen from the Avondale Public Library. Welcome to More to Explore. More to Explore is meant for kids ages 6 to 12. In More to Explore, we will be learning, creating, and sharing. If you're interested in participating, please sign up at the link below or call the phone number listed below. We look forward to seeing you each week. Hi, and welcome to More to Explore. This week, we will be making friendship bracelets. We know these past few months have been different than usual for everyone, and you may not be able to see your friends in person as much as you would like. So, today we're going to make a friendship bracelet that you could either keep or that you could give to one of your friends. And once you've made one, you may be just making more for all your friends. The supplies that you're going to need today are the spools of DMC thread from your kit, a pair of scissors and some tape or a safety pin. You are going to need 10 lengths of thread and out of the colors you have you're going to choose which ones you'd like to use. So if you're going to use five colors you need two of each color. If you're going to use two colors you need five of each color. So you're going to make the strings pretty long and so at first it'll feel very long but um, as you continue making your bracelet, they'll get shorter and shorter and easier to deal with. But so you're going to make some long lengths of thread and it's better to have more than less just because you're going to be knotting it and it um, you'll need a lot of length in order to do that. So I stretched out my arms and I'm going to cut a length this big. So you're going to want to do that for 10 different threads. And you, again, you're choosing the colors and how many different colors you would like to have in your bracelet. So what I'm doing now is I'm grabbing all my thread or strings that I created and I'm putting them in order. So I'm going to do yellow, blue, green, burgundy, purple. And so I'll repeat that pattern and it doesn't, um, I'm trying to line them up right now and they're going to get a little mixed up, but that's okay. So I've got yellow, blue, and so then I need green, and I'm, oops, what I'm doing is just um, holding them at the top and pulling them down to straighten out the thread, and then my last one. Now I have all my threads, and what I'm going to do is tie a knot in the top. So I'm just going to use my fingers, make a circle, a loop, tuck, the threads through the circle and pull. So just a regular knot. And you'll notice your threads may have mixed up their order a little bit, but that is okay. Uh, we just mainly want them tied so then we can work with them. The next thing you're going to do is decide where you're going to sit in order to create your bracelet. So if you're sitting at a table, you may want to use tape and you, you'll need a piece of tape to fasten your thread to the table. You can also use a safety pin and put it through the knot at the top and attach the safety pin to like your jeans and then you're more mobile because it's attached to your jeans and you can just um, do your knotting wherever you are. Okay, so I have my threads knotted at the top. I don't have to have a, a bunch of threads above the knot just a little bit just where it was where it was easiest for me to make the knot so now i've taped it to the table and what i need to do is figure out the pattern of the colors i want to use so even though they're all kind of jumbly and mixed up it's okay because once we get going on our pattern it will be easier and the threads will lay flat on the table and it will be much easier to use so i'm going to do yellow and then find my blue guy here. So blue, yellow, blue, green, burgundy, and then purple. This little purple guy. And then um, I'm going to repeat that same pattern. So yellow. And if I notice like it's kind of tangled up in something, I just need to pull it. So we get them all lined up. So yellow, blue, and again, my purple is 
tangled in my blue, but that's okay. I'm just going to get it all set up. So blue, there we go, blue, green, burgundy, and purple. And again, just straightening out. If you um, put your strings in order before you tie the knot, it will be easiest. Um, so, but even still, they're, they tend to get tangled together, so you just have to keep straightening them out. So, what I'm going to do is pick up the thread on the very left, which this is yellow for me, and I'm going to pick it up in my right hand. And then I'm going to pick up the blue, which is next to it on the right, with my left hand. So then what I'm going to do is what I think of as making uh, number four, but all I'm doing is making a knot. So it's what I'm going to do, I use my thumb and I wrap the yellow string around it. I'm holding on to the blue string with my left fist and then I'm going to, what I'm going to do is take the yellow and my, my pointer finger helps too. And I'm going to wrap the yellow on top of the blue around the back of it. So I'm going around the blue and then I'm going to pull it tight to make a knot. And I'm going to do that again. So here it is. Okay. So I made a knot two times on top of the blue thread. Then I'm going to go to my next thread, which is green. And again, hold the green, which was the color on the right with my left hand, keep holding the yellow, which is my starting thread with my right hand and make the number four, which means I'm making a knot, okay? So what I'm gonna do is keep doing this for each color I come to. So I this yellow string is gonna travel from each color all the way across and end up on this side, okay? And then I'm gonna do the same thing with the blue where I'm gonna make my knot and it'll keep traveling across and you'll see they keep just traveling across as you make your knots. So don't worry if you make little mistakes when you're working on your friendship bracelet. It gets easier as you're going, but I know a lot of times when I'm working on it, I will be watching TV or talking to someone else. And so you might notice, I have a couple little holes, like you can see through there, um, where I accidentally skip the thread. And that's okay. Your bracelet may not be perfect. Nobody is perfect. And your friend will just be excited that they're getting something that you made. So don't worry if there you have some little mistakes. Um, I tend to get better at it as I go. And also, as I'm going, I can look at the order. So if I'm like, oh, which one am I on? Which one am I supposed to do next? I can see the order of the colors so I know what is supposed to happen next. So you can also make these as just little keychain holders and you don't have to do a full bracelet. But let's pretend mine was all finished. So how we're going to end the bracelet is we're going to tie a knot at the bottom. And again, my history. see, I didn't do it right the first time, so I'm gonna make sure I get it right. So I'm taking all my threads to make a big knot, just like I did at the top. And so I'm gonna knot it at the end. And then I have my two knots that I can either tie together if I wanna make it so my friend can uh, make it bigger or smaller or I can do a safety pin that attaches the two so then my bracelet is ready to go. Once you're really good at making friendship bracelets, you may want to do a different pattern than just the regular stripe pattern. So there's different ones which are chevrons, which are the little triangles, half triangles. There, you can do different patterns. You can make these amazing different bracelets. So I have put a few links to different websites that give instructions and examples of different friendship bracelets that you can make. Have fun creating!